Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part five of uh, an undead Silver Pine Forest walkthrough for Retail WoW. This is the Cataclysm revamp version, not the version that's in Classic. Uh, when we last left off, we only had one storyline left to complete the zone and get the zone achievement, and that's this one, On the Battlefront. Uh, basically, we have to just win the battle against the Gilnean Worgans. That's where we're at in the story. We're at the final chapter. And the quest mobs are... The quest NPCs are running off and not letting me take the quest. That's not very nice of them. Alright, so this is Baron Ashbury. He says, Our forces in Pyrewood were recently taken by way of sneak attack. The 7th Legion managed to infiltrate the town with their scouts, ultimately decimating our troops. The Dark Lady has tasked us with a rescue mission. We are to find survivors and get them out of Pyrewood safely. If any soldiers live, they are likely worthless, but we do as the Dark Lady commands. Let's get this nonsense over with, Thresdens. Pyrewood is directly southwest of the Forsaken Front. I have to rescue eight cowering troopers. And then this is Lord Walden. He says, our enemies are becoming smarter, adapting to our tactics. Recently, an attack was made upon Pyrewood Village, southwest of here. Our troops occupying the town were decimated, of course. But what made the attack especially interesting was the racial composition of the attacking force. No humans were used. Walden laughs. Rightfully, they fear being reanimated as forsaken. Let us teach the non-humans a lesson in fear. Together, we will show them what happens to corpses that we cannot use. Well, that's weird. I mean, why can't he use elf corpses, or... Uh, I mean, who is... Are they dwarves? Uh, what? Uh, wait. They should have burned my damned corpse. He's got another... Did I already read this? The attacks against our front are a distraction. With our attention turned towards the Worgen Onslaught, the Alliance has managed to take Pyrewood Village from our occupying forces. Godfrey hands you a bundle of torches. It must be purged. With these torches, we will burn Pyrewood Village to the ground, leaving only ashes for the enemy to hide behind. Let us not waste another minute. Pyrewood Village is located southwest of the Forsaken Front. Lead us there, Thresdens. Okay. Alright, so I've got three quests now. And they are all over here. I wonder why it's not showing the areas. Um, should be tracking quest POIs, so I'm not sure why it's not showing an area there. Oh well. summon my minion, too. Uh-oh, I can see Alliance people. Bloodfang? When the attacks upon Gilneas first occurred, it was Bloodfang's worgen that led the charge. The monster and his pack have been terrorizing these lands for years. Baron Ashbury, before that, said, Keep the conversations curt. I am in no mood for whining or rambling. Okay. I'm not trying to whine or ramble. I'm just... trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Alright, let's rescue this cowering trooper here. We overheard their orders. No survivors. She died in battle. Bow your heads. What? That didn't make any sense.
All right, now I see I need to torch the pyre wood in. I guess that's this. Firewood Inn is on fire. Well, that was the Pyrewood Chapel I just burnt. Some people only want to watch the world burn. Others want to be the ones responsible for burning it. <laughs> okay. Alright, we just need to torch the town hall now. they all dead? Uh, he just called someone a worthless maggot. I'm not sure if he's calling uh, our troops that was cowering the corner a worthless maggot, or calling the Alliance soldiers a worthless maggot. Okay, so time to, t well, let me look upstairs and make sure there's no survivors up here before I torch this place. Yeah, there's another one. Uh, I guess this guy is killing our own troops, which is not what Sylvanas ordered. That's not cool. Being forsaken has its benefits. Let me see. I am able to practically live underwater. I can stay submerged 233% longer than any fleshy mortal. Yes, count it. 233%. Reduced to ashes. Soon nothing will be left of Gilneas or the Worgen Taint. Oh, and I am now able to shrug off mind-controlling effects because I lack a brain. And perhaps the best part, I now have a hungering for the flesh of other humanoids. Cannibalizing their rotting corpses grants me power. Yes, delicious. Okay. I guess every person I rescue, he's just going to kill them. So, I'll have to tell Sylvanas when I get back. Nobody in here. I'll just let them fight. <laughs> Go try to find more cowering troopers. Here's one. Are are they all dead? Oh, she disappeared this time. I still can't tell if Lord Godfrey is supposed to be killing them, or um, is it Alliance soldiers killing them? The part of me that was Gilnean died at Tempest's Reach. 
Only vengeance remains, Thresdens. To that end, we have work to do. Spare me your pointless queries. Alright, gotta kill one more scout and find two more cowering people. Cowering undead. I'm going to end up leveling if this keeps up. I am more than forsaken. More than a man. I am something new. Something else. I suspect we'll see fewer humans at the battlefront. The risk for these cowards is too great. Looks like those were dwarves. I mean, why can't we resurrect dwarves? How does that... Uh, how does that change things? I don't... I don't get it. Yeah, that is a gnome, actually. It looks like they're using gnomes. Maybe the Forsaken doesn't like to make undead gnomes? I don't know why, because they're short? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Are, are they all dead? Okay, now that one did not suddenly die. So I guess it's not my own people killing them, it's... The Alliance is supposedly killing them, even though there were no Alliance people around. That's a very confusing part of the story. But hey, it's a 2010 zone. It's not like Blizzard's going to go back and fix it. They're everywhere. Watch out! These cowering troopers should die in shame. This is an embarrassment. What happened here today is between us. Say a word to anyone and you will find yourself in a corpse pit next to these poor fools. Okay, so he did kill them then. While destroying Pyrewood will certainly garner us an advantage over the Alliance upon the field of battle, our true purpose here is to leave them crippled. Southwest of here, near the Grey Main Wall, lies the 7th Legion base camp. We must search the base camp for battle plans. With the 7th Legion battle plans, we will be able to pinpoint all Alliance troop advancement in Silver Pine Forest. Recover the 7th Legion battle plans. The Alliance reinforcements have established a foothold in the southwest region of Silver Pine, called 7th Legion Base Camp. Our primary goal at the base camp is to sow discord amongst the troops. This is a lightning-fast assassination mission to kill their field commander, General Marstone. His death won't stop the Alliance advance, but it will certainly soften their ranks. Alright, we're gonna go assassinate this guy. I always loved Silver Pine. Until the Lich King let loose his rampaging Scourge armies and turned the land into a massive rotting corpse pit. Now the sight of it boils my green blood. Probably gonna get attacked by scouts. I'm just gonna keep going. The scouts are annoying. Getting low on health. Hell, I guess I shouldn't leave my allies since they're healing me. Oh, 
see if I can get over here. I mean, there's night elves too. They can definitely resurrect night elves. I don't understand why they're um, saying they can't resurrect non humans. That's not true. Uh, okay, so there's some dwarven infantry we're going to have to fight our way through to get to their captain. Alright, well, I wanted to do a pet attack, but can't click on the chat window. And I have never set up a pet attack macro. I wish Blizzard would just make a pet attack button instead of making people do a macro. Soldier's leggings of the fire flash. Tavine's cloak. Two, two, three. No. Okay. And my bags are almost full. I have one more spot. Disciples' robe of the Aurora. Four, four, six. No, that's not as good as what I've got. All right, this is bad. I need to get back to town and sell some stuff. Probably can't pick up anything else. I'll have to destroy something. There's the general. Ooh, he's doing a lot of damage. Luckily, I've got a healer. Now I got my allies back. That quest would be impossible to do without them. 
So I need to somehow pull General Marston without all these other guys. Seems pretty difficult because he's walking around near them. Alright, I'm gonna wait till he walks like around the middle here. Oh, I need to summon my minion too. Wait, no, I need a void walker. Here comes a Dwarven infantry walking by. Alright, let's see if I can do it now. Alright, so far so good. I'm not getting hit. Got him. All right, what else? Seventh Legion battle plan. How am I supposed to get that? We must search the base camp for battle plans. Are you kidding me? There's infantry everywhere. Are these guys just completely nuts or what? quickly find the battle plan so I don't have this problem again. I have no idea where the battle plans are at. It might be a drop from these guys. If so, that's what it looks like actually. Looks like it's a drop from these guys. That is not good. Wait. No, it's not in there. Alright, I'm gonna go look this quest up. See if I can figure out how to complete it. So apparently they drop from an elite dwarf. And she's usually found near a... Uh, the marshy area near the crocodiles. Um. Oh, God.
Got it. Finally. Alright, now I need to find a safe place to turn in these quests. Got a new quest. I never forget a face. Got a partially digested head. I know that face, Thresdens. This head belongs to a former Gilnean known as Sean Dempsey. He was imprisoned with Crowley before the Great Outbreak. Godfrey pauses to think for a moment. I wonder if it would be possible to put him back together. The rest of him must be in the belly of these crocoliths. I think we can rebuild him. We must kill every crocolisk in the marsh until we find the rest of Sean Dempsey's body. From the belly of the beast, this man will be reborn. I'll get a vest of forsaken necromancy that is not as good as what I already have. Okay. Lord Godfrey says, The rest of the Alliance fleet will arrive shortly, only to find their base camp decimated. Now for the second and most important part of our battle plan. Okay, and what's that? Lord Walden says, Search every filthy dwarven corpse. Thought I had another quest to turn in. Walden flips through the battle plan. It looks like the reinforcements from the ships in Gilneas are marching soon. Crowley and Bloodfang have set up an encampment to the southeast for the Gilneas Liberation Front. I wish I had read that item. Level 24. I wish I had read that item before I, um... What is this? 3, 5, 7? Yeah, that's better. And... Dawn Weaver's dagger. Sixteen intellect, four stamina, two to three frost damage. Um, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep what I've got on. One, two, three. Nope, that's not as good. Okay. Really wish I could get to a merchant. Oh, now I've got another quest. On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Lorna Crowley, daughter of Lord Darius Crowley, is currently at the Gilneas Liberation Front camp, located near the Grey Main Wall to the southeast. Our primary mission is to infiltrate the camp and capture her alive. The Dark Lady believes that she will be able to use Lorna as a bargaining chip against Crowley. I say we just kill her and bring her back as Forsaken, but we must do as the Dark Lady commands. We must hurry before the rest of the Alliance forces arrive. I got Dempsey's appendages. I need his torso and giblets. Conversation, Kurt. I am in no mood for whining or rambling. Okay, whatever. Got 
Got Dempsey's torso. Just need his giblets. Slimy bone, but it's not his. It's something else that the crocodile ate. Got it. At the very least, we'll have some crocolist hides to make fancy shoes out of. Not me, I'm a tailor, man. Now let's see if I can do this. Godfrey starts mumbling under his breath. Leg bone connects to the thigh bone. Arm bone to torso. Sprinkle on a little forsaken necromancy. Ta-da! And my inventory is full. I'm gonna have to destroy something. bags that I've made just to level my tailoring skill. Um, I hate to destroy a recipe. Uh, all that stuff is valuable. I'll get rid of this. Alright, made a little bit of space. Five, six, nine. It's the same. Right. It's the same. Help, help, I've been captured by monsters. Uh, no, you are a monster. Ha, don't you recognize us, Dempsey? It's Godfrey. I have here Lord Walden. You were always a spineless coward, Dempsey. What in the world just happened? You, you saved me? I'm a damn monster. You're a damn monster. Look at yourself. Rage is the only emotion I have left. Uh... This guy is absolutely crazy. If I'm not mistaken, we just went through all that trouble to raise that guy, and then he just killed him. Just because he likes to kill people, I guess. Oh, it's warging everywhere. And crocodiles. This guy's tough. probably take out this guy over here.
Let's hope I can get to the next one before the first one respawns. Lord Godfrey says, Just do as I say, and this war will end without incident, unless you count the death of every worgen in Lordaeron as an incident. Uh, yeah, apparently, uh, undead people too. Unless you count the death of lots of undead people. Almost there. Vengeance will be ours, he says. All right. We gotta take out this guy, clear this out. I'm trying to figure out how to get through here with the least amount of fights. But I don't wanna end up trying to avoid all of them and then pull all of them at once. Why did my friends just walk off? Godfrey, so the rumors are true. You would betray your kingdom out of spite? My kingdom? My kingdom is no more. Your father and Greymane saw to that. No, Gilneas died when they allowed murderous beasts to reign free, unchecked. Now lay down your arms and surrender. We are not here to kill you. Not yet. Ha! You'll have to kill me. Die! Head back to the Forsaken Front before we are discovered. Uh, that might be kind of tough. See if I can make it back through the same path we carved already.
Alright, this is the only quest left to turn in. So it's time to go tell Sylvanas this person is crazy. Either Lord God Godfrey or Lord Walden, whichever one has been killing everybody. Killing all of our own people. What are we if not slaves to this torment? You have done it. Finally, everything is in place. Should Crowley not accept our terms, his daughter will be turned. Lorna Signet. Four intellect, six stamina. That is better than nothing, for sure. Our armies clash across the battlefield. Crowley and his forces are losing ground, and they do not yet know the fate of Lorna Crowley. We will meet with Crowley and his compatriots at midfield, and I will present them with the terms of their surrender. They will either accept, or we will kill them all and leave their cities in dust. As my most trusted soldier, you are to stand by my side during the exchange. Tell me when you are prepared to leave. And I'll get slippers of unturned loyalties, which is pretty nice. Uh, okay, before I... Wait, onward, Thresdens. We will beat back the Alliance Dogs and secure Lordaeron. For the Forsaken, for the Horde. Wait, no, I need to sell some stuff. She said, said let me know when you are ready, but then she didn't let me wait. Lay down your arms and surrender. I will leave your cities in dust and your lives in ruin. Uh, they probably can't hear you over the explosions, Sylvanas. Look at them, Thresdens. They scurry like rats, veering headlong to their doom. Surely Crowley and Bloodfang can see the futility in this. To the Grey Main Wall, we will force their hand. Wait, Miss Windrunner, you're riding too fast. I can't catch you. Slow down. Crowley, your forces have fallen before my mighty army. You have lost. It's not over, Sylvanas. Not yet. You frivolously throw away the lives of your people with your own king, while your own king sits atop his throne of lies, nary lifting a finger to help. Is Gilneas worth the lives that have been lost? The lives that will be lost? You cannot win. We will die trying! And your daughter? You could have saved her. You could have offered her your blood, yet you did not. Why? Lorna? What? Where is she? What have you done to her? Nothing. Yet. I now present you with a choice. A choice that I was never given. I offer you the life of Lorna for your unconditional surrender. Choose your next words wisely, Crowley. Deny me, and she will serve me in undeath forever. Lady Savannah's Windrunner yells, Bring her, Godfrey! Godfrey, you deceitful maggot! Here he comes. Hello, old friend. 
Lorna, I... Release her! I will sound the retreat! You can't be serious, Crowley, you miserable bastard! Release her, Godfrey! Of course, mistress. Now leave here, Crowley, and never return. Lordaeron belongs to the Forsaken. Forgive me, daughter. Soldiers of the Horde, we are victorious! Lordaeron is... Lady Sylvanas Windrunner dies? What? What have you done, Godfrey? Lord Godfrey says, something that should have been done a long time ago, you filthy animal. Gilneas belongs to me, and so soon will the rest of Lordaeron. Uh, I'm sure uh, Sylvanas is not dead. land will quiver and shake in the wake of our destruction. I need to target something. What do you need? Fix her! Fix her! We are bound to her, sisters. It will destroy us, sister. It is our sacred duty. The pact was sealed. The bargain made. Then let it be done. I saw only darkness. And as I drifted toward nothingness, a brilliant light appeared, then another, and another, my dear Valkyr. I know now, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that the Valkyr are our future. We will never stop fighting for Lordaeron. Never. Wow, that was a cool scene. We are the Forsaken. We will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. Lady Sylvanas Windrunner grimaces in pain. This is not over. Godfrey and his traitorous allies will pay for what they have done, as will the remaining Alliance forces occupying Lordaeron. Our work has only just begun. That's it. Got the achievement. This war has taken its toll on us as a people. We have lost much to secure our place as the rightful rulers of Lordaeron. And though the moment is won, the battle continues to rage in other parts of the Eastern Kingdoms. I must return to the Undercity to recuperate. I want you to go to Hillsbrad Foothills in my stead, Thresdens. As my most trusted soldier, you will lead our forces to absolute domination against our enemies in Hillsbrad. Report to High Executor Darthalia at South Point Blockade to the east. Alright, I've actually got two quests leading into Hillsbrad Foothills now. Best of Forsaken Necromancy. Right, that's the same as I've got. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Why not? At least it looks different. Then I've got the slippers. And I'm gonna go sell stuff in just a minute, but... In the meantime, I don't know when I will be able to do the Hillsbrad Foothills series, uh, but that one will be next if you're interested in watching the Undead storyline. Uh, I've got a lot of projects I'm working on right now, so I don't know when I'll be able to get to it. But in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, see you later.